What's up? What's up, Holland? What's up, the world, man? What's up, Berlin? You know, what's up, yeah, man? I'm David. Livingstone, man. You guys are highly welcome in yeah, man. It's an independent place. Everybody's free. Rastafari, Iris Salasia. If you enter the Yam, you, you feel like you are in a different world. You come out from the big station, everything grey, glass and concrete. You come inside, you have the painted graffiti walls, you have, you have the trees, the plants, uh, the beach. At night we have foxes here and crazy animals, a hawk and they are all living here. The Yam is special because I feel that everybody who comes here um, feels home, especially people who don't um, are welcome everywhere and they feel welcome here. Doesn't matter how they look, what they do, if they work, if they uh, play with their kids, if they come with their family. Um, yeah, it's a family always here. I'm a peaceful man, living according to Japan, a little bit by the western road, but I am strong, working with the plan, set from Japan. But the, the Yam is a place where you know they started with a, with a real with a vibe of multiculturalism, which brought a lot of like reggae and hip hop people together here, um, and that like that's like stayed. You can come here. I think if you're from anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, you can come here and feel comfortable because it's such like a mix of people. And, and a mix of artists and a mix of ideas from all around the place and everyone's pretty open to each other because of that. And I think without, without places like that, you would just have like mass commercialization and, and people just trying to figure out who's got the most money to come into their places. But I mean, there's a lot of other people that live in the city that maybe don't get into clubs because uh, their shoes don't look good enough or they're not dressed up nice or whatever. And they also need a place to like chill, communicate with each other. We give uh space for graffiti artists and street artists to, um, to show their skills, to, um, to paint legally, not to be persecuted by the police and develop their style, their art way and so we have like graffiti from all over the world, from New Zealand to South Africa to LA everybody was painting here and it's like a like a peaceful playground for graffiti writers I've been DJing in Berlin for the last 11 years and uh, been DJing in all different kinds of places, all different kinds of clubs and events and the Yam has been around like a really, really long time uh, supporting like a lot of DJs from around here, reggae DJs, hip hop DJs, graffiti writers, you know, in the hip hop scene, um, they've done a lot here for the hip hop scene uh, in supporting like a lot of people that don't have a place maybe to paint or um, have ideas for parties or ideas for, for doing music um, and need a stage for that. Open space to do what you want to do and to let your creative side run free. Don't stop, don't stop. 
I've been on this uh, market for more than 10 years and I know the restaurants right now that I'm speaking to you. They appreciate my uh, plantains from Africa, they appreciate my sweet potatoes from Africa, they appreciate the way I present them with my food, and I know that is one of the positive aspects of the multi uh, integration that EAM has made it possible for us to do. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Oh, I'm hungry. Yes, what can I do for you? Uh, I would wish uh, some rice and plantain. Well, Berlin became the capital after the wall came down and all the investors were hunting for the best places and here before 89 we were in the end of the western world and now we are just in the middle of everything also we are right in the city center so they want to build uh, office buildings like the big O2 arena but Berlin is living from this um, image of being a creative party city with a lot of musician, artists, uh, free spaces, alternative stuff, subculture. When I keep it jala, reggae city, only two euro, all years. Okay, man. Write just more, and then be bold as the lion. It's a faithful man. I live here for, uh, for one and a half years. And I live with my husband, with my two daughters. I'm cooking here, I'm selling African food. Yeah, it's very important for every people, you know. Tourists, people who live in Berlin, children also. They come here and play during the weekend, you know. It's what we need, actually, in cities. We don't need parks like this one over there where there's nothing inside. We need uh, parks where there's a soccer ground and a little garden and uh, probably um, something to climb for children and, 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 and. We need places where children can run, where they can act, where they can climb, where they can fall off from trees, where they can be stung by uh, some plants or they see uh, how tomatoes grow. There's so many things they can discover here. But they made the concept all around the river spray to, to, do, to develop it into a modern city like every other European city is now like dead in the evening, a little bit busy with bankers in the morning. The, the people from the area, they decided not to build um, houses here and that we have a little space like 20 meters 30 meters where you can chill where you can walk where you can take a little bit of sun maybe have a little bit of nature because we are still in a quite poor area Kreuzberg and Friedrichshain but um, the owners or the investors they didn't really care about it we are in that situation until now that we don't know what is happening every second they can give us a call or send us an email and say now guys it's over then we have like eight weeks to to move away from here for sure if we have to move from this place um, we're gonna build it up somewhere else are we born knowing all we growing wiser are we just growing tall can you read thoughts can you read palms uh. can you predict the future can you see storms coming the earth was flat, if you went too far you would fall off Now the earth is round, if the shape change again everybody would have start love The average man can't prove of most of the things that he chooses to speak of And still run research and find out the root of the truth that you seek of Scholars teach in universities and claim that they're smart and cunning Tell them find a cure when we sneeze and that's when their nose start running And the rich get stitched up when we get cut Wanna heal them broken bones in a bush with a wet mud can you read signs? Can you read stars? Can you make peace? Can you fight war? Can you milk cows even though you drive cars? Uh, can you survive against all odds now? It's crazy. When you feed people the truth, you don't know.
know how they gonna react You scared of wrongdoers People that's just ignorant You scared of the truth